Okay, YouTubers, Alpha 101 Survival here. Um, now I am actually going to test fire the Henry Survival Rifle. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, I would highly recommend you get a concealed carry uh, if you're going to have a Henry rifle in your backpack because that would be a concealed weapon. But my opinion is there's this thing called your personal sovereignty or your personal freedom, the ability just to protect yourself. And that doesn't necessarily mean using deadly force to do it. It just means, I don't know, having a generator, right? Like, just simple stuff. Well, in that whole concept, there's this piece of paper. It has 13 amendments on it. One of them talks about your right to keep and bear arms. So I suggest you exercise your freedoms uh, before they're taken away from you. Because you just can't rely specifically on other people to take care of you. Like, look at Katrina, you know? It took the government months. It was people that were helping people. And if you're prepared, you know, you can take care of yourself and your friends and family and strangers. It's just smart, right? It's economics, 101, right? Diversify your portfolio, you know, diversification. Nature uses it. Brilliant concept. So here we go. Henry Survival Rifle. I want to try to get seven rounds through it. There was something wrong with the magazine yesterday, which is why I didn't do the... Um, the video and I messed around with it and I think I fixed the problem and it only got off two rounds and it jammed after that but I don't think it's a big problem at least it fired so it's not the rifle itself it had to do with either the ammunition or the magazine so um, I wing this stuff I don't use a script so I, I, I kind of interrupt myself sometimes um, and that's how you troubleshoot w when you're dealing with a firearm so alright here we go my dad's gonna record for me Right, my dad, right there. Say hi, YouTube. He's such a nice guy. I swear. All right, here we go. Yeah, like, um, like here. I'm going to uh, see how you can. Like, here's the camera lens, right here, yeah. and right there, you like, you're you're pointing right at me. Okay. Just don't put your finger in front of the camera. Lens. Right there. Yeah, that's perfect. That's 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 how you film. Anyway, all right. Let's load this bad boy up. And hopefully, she fires off all seven rounds. This time. If not, I'll take it back in and work with it a little bit. Then if I can't fix it, uh, there are these people called gunsmiths. And they can fix a lot of these problems for you. You know, if you, if you have feeding problems. Because they're experts in firearms. And a lot of gunsmiths actually issue concealed carry permits. And if you're ever interested in getting a concealed carry permit, it can be like $125. Uh, it's a couple weeks of class, which is really good. On top of that, you can actually take self-defense classes to show you how to sort of like defend yourself, <coughs> keep you from shooting yourself, and defending your home. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in firearms, uh, get one. But but here's here's the deal, though. You know, you don't have to like guns, though. And this is this is what I'm saying is you have a smoke detector in your house, don't you? Well, do you plan on having a fire? Of course you don't, but just in case it's there. That makes sense? It's logic, perfect logic. There you go. Use your, use your Second Amendment right. Just because this stuff is fun, too. Forget playing video games, first-person shooter. Get some targets and do it yourself. God, live in reality. All right, here we go. Put like five rounds in there. Let, as long as it gets three, three to four rounds through, I'm going to be extremely happy. The magazine's in there, right? I'm going to make sure the rounds are seated to the back. Here, the cool thing about this, for for to make it easier, see how that pops in and out, All right? So okay, round, chamber, safety off. And here's one thing I want to tell you. These are called your weapons conditions. This is the way we used it in, uh, in the Marine Corps. Was never point a weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. Keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you intend to fire. Keep your weapon on safe until you're ready to fire. You understand? I don't believe in killing people. So, all right? I believe in defending myself. That's about it. The target I'm shooting at, Dad, how many yards was that? 33. 33 yards. I was hitting it yesterday. jammed again well actually it didn't jam 
Well, it jammed, but it's a misfeed. See the round right there? Yeah. That's a good thing. It's trying to feed the ammo. I never had any trouble with that thing. Sometimes, Dad, just a weapon not being used or a firearm not being used, it, it can just... It, it's it's, uh, it's chaos. Six chaos rounds. theory. It's like nothing. So I don't know what it is. I'll mess with a little bit more. Let's see. So, you know, I know I've got around in the chamber. See? Not again. But that's all you need, right? If you were really yeah. doing it. But it would be nice to have, you know, if there was like more than one rabbit or a squirrel um, and you, you could hit more than one, that would be great because you, you'd, be you'd be feeding yourself for at least a couple days. All right, well, see, it didn't I even eject. Right. So sometimes is what this can be is, is your uh, ammunition, depending on its grain. Maybe you want to get a higher grain or a better grade ammunition. You just don't know what's happened in the manufacturing process. So we know it's firing. We know it's feeding. It's just not ejecting. I've had that so ammo for a long time, too. Yeah. Might need to wipe it off before you put it in there. Yeah, and the ammo, it could be, yeah, the ammo might be corroded, too. It's a good point. I took steel wool and cleaned them. I'm hitting the target, 33 yards. You know what they call that shell stuck out like that? What? Stovepipe. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. When the shell's sticking out like that, they call it a stovepipe. Nice. Yeah. That's, uh, what's the name of the show with, uh, uh Gunny, um... Yep, Mail call. Yeah. That's a good show. That That's a really good show. A lot of the survival shows um, out there, I really, really love. Um, a lot of fun. But those survival shows, like, really intense. Like, they're showing stuff just like most people can't do. I'm talking like you could be 80 and do some of this stuff and have fun with it. That's why I'm making this show 101. Like, like orientation 101 in college. This is orientation to survival. Cool, right? You hit the tree. I know. I'm, I'm hitting the. I'm hitting the target. Yep. See, it's a misfeed again, and basically, I can't figure out what the hell's wrong with it. Uh, I think I know what's wrong with it now, Dad. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go look at the uh, target. 